Using the classical tools of a straight edge and compass, for which n can we divide a circle into n parts of equal area? If we start playing around with this problem, at first it doesn't seem too interesting. We can construct two antipodal points on a circle, and that divides the circle into two pieces of equal area. We can construct an equilateral triangle on the circle, and that will allow us to divide the circle into three pieces of equal area. Proceeding in a similar manner, we can construct the regular square on the boundary of the circle, dividing the circle into four pieces of equal area. And then we can do the same thing with the regular pentagon and the regular hexagon, dividing the circle into five pieces of equal area and six pieces of equal area, respectively. We might think we can continue this pattern and just construct the regular heptagon on the circle, which then divides the circle into seven equal pieces. But there's a problem here, it turns out. The regular heptagon is not constructible using the classical tools of a straight edge and compass. So that leaves us with a question. Can we divide a circle into seven equal parts using just a straight edge and compass? Let's find out. Start with a line segment that will serve as the diameter of a semicircle like this. Then divide the diameter of the semicircle into seven congruent pieces, which can be done with a straight edge and compass. Let's call the length of these pieces D. After bisecting segments when necessary, use the compass to construct these nested semicircles for a total of seven pictured semicircles. Let's compute the area of the semicircles first. The first semicircle has area pi times d squared over 8, the second one is 4 pi d squared over 8, then 9 pi d squared over 8, and so on. Each time we have the nth squared times pi d squared over 8. If we call the area pi d squared over 8 the value x, then the areas of the circles are x, 4x, 9x, 16x, and so on. Each time we have the next square times x. We can use these values to determine the areas in the circle. The first region has an area of x, then 3x, then 5x, 7x, and so on. Each time we're taking the difference of successive squares to get the next odd number. And now we apply our trick. This time, we construct the exact same regions in the bottom semicircle, but this time from right to left. Once we adjoin the regions like this, we see that each of the seven created regions has an area of 14 times x. That means that each of these regions has exactly the same area. Consequently, this means that we have divided the circle into seven pieces of equal area using a straight edge and compass.